the CS2 market is still crashing and this means a lot about the future of it and what we should expect and how we can try to get profit by investing in CS2 items at the moment. So we're gonna talk all about that, but first, check out today's sponsor. If you're looking to buy skins, the best place to do so is on CSGO Empire. They have the best marketplace out there since you can get any skin for way lower than buff price, either by getting it in an auction on the site or a simple listing. The marketplace has 0% fees, which makes it perfect for trading and flipping skins as well, so you can make a clean 10% profit weekly easily. You can also use the site to cash out your skins into crypto for even higher than 100% buff price, which is leagues better than the 85% buff price that you would get from a normal trader if you sold to them. So check out the CSGO Empire Marketplace with the link in the description. Start using the site and thank me later. All right, so as we can see from Price Empire right here, most skin prices are still going down. This phenomenon is now letting go after weeks of us experiencing it in the CSGO market. And I think this is a very good thing actually, because now that we're in a dry period and the market can finally drop to the prices where it should be instead of it being super inflated we can actually look at some good investments to prepare for and make money from once the right time comes so yesterday valve actually released an update to cs2 and it was the most minuscule update the smallest update i've seen in a while they only changed miscellaneous things as they call them in the patch notes so you know there was nothing really to worry about when it comes to skins in that update right well not exactly but we're gonna find out what they changed and if they changed anything regarding skins sooner or later but regardless of that the fact that we got a pretty hype new update containing the new community servers in cs2 and the workshop as well and the market still continued to crash we can expect it to keep doing so for at least a couple more weeks and once that's done we should expect the market to explode with the addition of a new operation or whatever new hype content that decides to add to the game during the winter or the new year of 2024. I've explained why exactly that's the case in a recent video of mine, so you can go check that out. But the conclusion over here is that the fact that the market is crashing still shouldn't discourage you from involving yourself in the CS2 market. And it's actually a good thing when it comes to that. So if you want to know why we're expecting the whole market to explode once some new content comes to the game, watch this video right here.